This Biona watershed flyover is a quick introduction to our 130 square mile watershed. A watershed holds and directs life-giving fresh water. It is estimated that taxpayers will need to spend three billion future dollars to capture rainwater in this 130 square mile Biona watershed outlined in green. The blue lines represent historical perennial streams that were replaced in most cases with storm drains. In our watershed, billions of gallons of rainwater flow through storm drains to Biona Creek flood control channel down to the Pacific Ocean Santa Monica Bay, unabated and unused. The federal government has mandated that cities, at a very minimum, clean our rainwater runoff before sending it out to the ocean. Taxpayers will be asked to vote. One solution is to spend billions of dollars to dig up schoolyards and parks and build underground concrete boxes to capture rainwater. A better way is to use the estimated three billion dollars to build new parks for people and wildlife while capturing precious rainwater at the same time. It would feed our spirits water our trees, and invite wildlife back into our world. The other 50% could be cleaned and diverted back into Biona's seasonal freshwater wetlands. Today, Biona Wetlands Ecological Reserve is starved for fresh water. Our first stop is the Pacific Ocean at the entry to the 950-acre Marina del Rey Boat Harbor. Created in 1954 by the federal government, Los Angeles City, and Los Angeles County. On the right is the mouth of Biona Creek Flood Control Channel and the Biona Bike Path. Next we approach the Biona Wetlands Ecological Reserve, 640 acres, a predominantly freshwater, seasonal wetlands. Biona is home to many birds, animals, and insects, with 12 different habitat zones visible from Lincoln, Jefferson, and Culver Boulevards. An environmental impact report is due out in early 2017. Many activists who work to save the Biona wetlands from destruction favor a slow, careful restoration. Others favor bulldozing and dredging 70% of the existing wetlands making them full tidal. They have not been full tidal for 4,000 years. This will imperil some endangered species and most of the wildlife that visit or make their home at Biona. At Jefferson and Lincoln, note the 26-acre freshwater marsh that was created by Playa Vista in the late 90s as part of a flood control system for their 400-acre residential and commercial complex. This development was built on the historic Biona wetlands and an enormous methane gas seep. To keep Playa Vista's methane mitigation system open, millions of gallons of water are pumped from under their buildings all year long. This dewatering plus the illegal unpermitted drains they installed in 2003 to 2004 in the wetlands are depriving the wetlands of large amounts of fresh water it historically relied upon. Activists are demanding that Playa Vista remove their two storm drains that flow to Biona Flood Control Channel. Instead, activists want this water cleaned and directed to the wetlands. The Riparian Corridor is at the base of Loyola University. It drains under Lincoln Boulevard into the fresh water marsh. In 2016, California Department of Fish and Wildlife issued a notice of violation of their stream bed agreement to Playa Vista over illegal, unpermitted roadway creation and demolishing wetland habitat used by known endangered species. 
Our next stop is the confluence of the Sentinella Creek and Biona Creek. Sentinella Creek comes from the city of Inglewood. This area attracts birds and other wildlife. A perfect place for a much needed park. We are flying over Sentinella Boulevard where Biona Channel's permeable bottom ends and the concrete bottom begins. The Sepulveda Channel daylights at Washington and East Boulevards flowing south to Biona Creek. The Sepulveda Channel offers an opportunity to extend the reach of the Biona Creek bike and walking path by one and a half miles. We continue to the Baldwin Hills oil field operation, a major source of pollution in the LA Basin. The Baldwin Hills Conservancy had at one time discussed shutting down this oil operation. Counting our blessings, we arrive at the Baldwin Hills Scenic Overlook. The Overlook provides miles of automobile-free hiking trails. This area was slated for development, but activists rallied proponents of this park, and now hundreds of people flock to this park. Kenneth Hahn State Park, although up against the Baldwin Hills Inglewood oil fields on the right, offers a beautiful view of downtown Los Angeles and the Santa Monica Mountains. We are flying over South Los Angeles to the downtown Los Angeles High Rise Business District. Los Angeles is one of the most underparked large cities in the United States. In the 1920s, Los Angeles city and county officials invited the landscape firm founded by Frederick Law Olmsted, who co-designed Central Park in New York City during the Civil War, to create a Los Angeles regional park plan. The plan was completed, but never done. With the $3 billion earmarked for rainwater capture, perhaps we can create new parks like they envisioned. We are doing a quick flyover of Griffith Park, where Upper Biona Creek daylights near the Griffith Park Observatory. On our right, we see the Los Angeles River watershed. We also see Stone Canyon Reservoir as we approach Santa Monica. Santa Monica Bay, and Venice Beach. As you watch this, consider how much more livable the city would be if new parks were added to satisfy the needs of people in densely populated urban Los Angeles. Parks can capture rainwater, increase wildlife habitat, and provide opportunities for children and adults to relax exercise, and renew themselves. Remember, the Biona watershed includes Beverly Hills, Culver City, West Hollywood, much of Los Angeles, parts of Santa Monica, plus some of Los Angeles County unincorporated areas. Our watershed is one of contrasts. It includes several reservoirs, the Santa Monica Mountains, Griffith Park's Wilderness Area, 11 miles of daylighted Biona Creek flood control channel, densely populated urban Los Angeles, most high-rise buildings in downtown Los Angeles, USC and UCLA college campuses, the Baldwin Hills oil fields, Kenneth Hahn State Park, Marina Del Rey, Lower Biona Creek, and the Biona Wetlands, to name a few. Our watershed offers boundless opportunities to increase rainwater capture, outdoor recreation, parkland, and backyard habitat for wildlife and people in urban Los Angeles. Currently, 90% of our tap water comes from over 200 miles away. Let's get excited about opportunities here in our own watershed. Daylight, 
open to the sky, ten miles of the buried historic Biona Creek, while creating a minimum of one park every mile in the densely populated middle of our watershed. Build new parks for people and wildlife while capturing precious rainwater at the same time. Join our effort. Send this video to a friend. Water is the most powerful force on the planet.